Ever wondered how Google Maps instantly finds the fastest way to your destination? Today, we'll uncover the secret behind it, and also look at a brand new algorithm that might change the future. This is Dijkstra's algorithm. In simple terms, it's a method to find the shortest path from one starting point to every other point in a network. Think of a network like a map. Dots are places, lines are roads, and the numbers represent distance or time. We start at our chosen location. From here, the algorithm looks at all possible paths and picks the closest one. That's node 2, at a distance of 2. Next, it checks the next cheapest option, node 3, bringing the total distance to 5. Then it expands further and reaches node 4. Step by step, Dijkstra's algorithm keeps building the shortest paths. And here, the path from node 1 to node 4 is found. 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. Pretty neat, right? But here's the catch. Dijkstra needs to keep sorting through a big list of options again and again. This sorting takes time. The time complexity is what we call O of M plus N log N. On huge maps like all the roads in the world, that sorting becomes very slow. If you'd like to try Dijkstra yourself, there's an interactive demo linked in the description. So, is this the best we can do? Or can we make it even faster? Let's find out. Here's the problem with Dijkstra. It keeps one giant sorted list of all possible paths. Sorting this list is what makes it slow. The new algorithm changes the game. Instead of fully sorting, it uses something much smarter, buckets. Think of a supermarket. Instead of everyone waiting in one long checkout line, people spread out into smaller lines. That way the cashier just needs to deal with one line at a time, not the entire crowd. The algorithm works the same way. Paths are grouped into buckets by their length. We only check the nearest non-empty bucket first, then move to the next. This avoids sorting everything from scratch and saves an enormous amount of work. While Dijkstra runs an O of M plus N log N time, the new algorithm speeds things up to O of M times log to the power two thirds of N. That's a big improvement. And why does this matter? Because faster shortest paths mean GPS navigation updates routes instantly. The internet can find faster paths for your data. And deliveries get planned more efficiently. If you'd like to dive deeper into the research, I've linked the full article in the description. The future of shortest path algorithms is faster, smarter, and closer than you think. Subscribe if you'd like more simple explanations of complex topics. Explained just like this.